Let's check out a new feature here in Pro Tools 2020.11, and that is the ability to transform audio into MIDI, which is pretty cool. There's a few ways to do this, so let's jump in here and go ahead and check it out. First up, we'll come up here to Setup and Preferences. Over here at the Processing tab, you're gonna see your Celimony ARA and your Audio to MIDI plugin will be Melodyne. So let's start with this uh, Strings track here. And let's say I wanted to sort of re-instrument that, like you would re-amp a guitar. I want to re-instrument my strings and I wanna use maybe palette or whatever, right? And redo that. Well, we can do that now pretty easily here in Pro Tools. So let's start this way. We'll right-click the track. You'll see copy audio as MIDI. I'll just select that. Up here we have conversion type. And of course, you know, you might have to choose a few different types to get this right but I think I'm gonna choose either polyphonic sustain or decay. Let's choose that one. Consolidate clips, uh, doesn't matter in this case. Select that, very good. Now we'll come up to our track or create a track. We already have uh, an instrument track, but you can always create either a MIDI track or an instrument track if you don't already have one. We already have one. I'll come up to it here. I'll hit Control V, Command V on Mac to paste that in, and there we go. There's our MIDI, which was copied right from our audio. So check it out. All right, so obviously depending on the instrument that you're using, it might have a different key map than the, uh, than the MIDI. So you may have to change things around. Uh, you may have to change your articulations, whatever you, know, you happen to be using, but it sounds pretty good. It's not perfect. Again, I'd have to come in here, double click, and maybe change some of these notes around here in our MIDI editor, but we got the proper structure out of that audio track. So now again, just come in here, move things around to their proper notes and you're good to go. Now, like I said, it might be a good idea to try some different uh, conversion types, polyphonic sustain, and then of course, control V to paste that in or do it again here. Choose melodic and then paste it in there. And you can see that you're getting different uh, different things each time. Let's go ahead and check out another way here. So here we have some drums. Now this is a combination of, you know, a kick, a snare, some cymbals and stuff like that. And say we want to sort of re-instrument that uh, with maybe Superior Drummer 3 or whatever you want to use, no problem. This, this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. All right, so here's our drum track. We already have our instrument track right here. I'm just gonna take it here, I'm gonna drag it right down. That gives me my audio to MIDI properties window. And in this case, percussive, let's try that first, see what we get. So obviously that's not correct. Get rid of that and do it again. Just drag it back down here and let's do percussive pitched. And that should get us a bit closer. Again, depending on your key map, right? So the key map is wrong here. It's not triggering the uh, proper drums. You can always come in here again and uh, move things around wherever you need to to some symbols or whatever uh, you need to do but that's a quick way again to sort of get the basic structure of that uh down and just turn it into uh turn it into midi all from that audio track let's move on now to something else we'll do it uh here maybe with a piano And say the file you're working with doesn't sound as good as this, uh, but you need to run it through a different piano uh, plugin or instrument, not a problem. So of course we have different ways we could do this. Uh, we could do copy, audio as MIDI, we could drag it, whatever. Maybe try melodic, copy that. And we'll just uh, paste it in here. Now that's not gonna work. We can already tell that, do it again. Let's try polyphonic sustain here. and control V to paste that in. And that looks a lot closer, just drag that over. Now we have our MIDI data from our audio track, and we can use whatever piano instrument uh, that we want. So it's actually pretty close there. Again, I'd have to come in here and uh, definitely have to change the velocity of everything there. And you might have to change around a few notes, but we've pretty much extracted the essence 
of this track in MIDI form. And a cool thing you can do, you know, depending on what mode you're using to extract things, you could maybe cut out some of these low notes and you could put, you know, sort of a little harmony on top. You could, if you have the basic structure down, right, of, of certain notes like these, I could just drag them up, maybe another octave or something like that, right? So a lot of cool stuff you can do. Let's do it another way. So here we have just uh, some drums and, th and these are different audio tracks now. So we have kicks, we have a snare, we have some toms up here, right, cymbals. And these are all separate tracks. Now we could do this on a track by track basis, but we can also do this here. Let's just grab all of these. All of those are selected, right? Let's come up here to track. And now we'll do extract MIDI to new track. So destination track type, it can be MIDI tracks or it can create instrument tracks for us. Let's just say MIDI, okay? And conversion type, probably percussive, maybe percussive pitch. You know, try universal, try automatic, just try different things. We're gonna go with uh, percussive. This doesn't matter here. So insert after last track selected. That's what we want. And for our source tracks, we can have those, you know, be made inactive, deleted, hide and made inactive, or just uh, you know, do nothing. We'll say do nothing, so we'll keep our tracks here. Hit OK. Wait a couple seconds, and bada bing, there we are. So right here now is all of our MIDI tracks. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. So four tracks from our four different audio tracks. Right there. So then we would want to route these MIDI tracks here. So you can see that's, uh, that's MIDI. We would want to route that MIDI to uh, a, an instrument. So we already have an instrument, so we could go ahead and route that to say, uh, superior drummer in in this case and of course we could do this all at one time with a modifier key but we'll do it one by one here just make sure we route all of that to superior drummer and we'll make sure these are soloed and come up to our superior drummer track here and just get rid of that one and so again our key map for our drums is going to be a little bit different. Not a big deal. Let's just grab our track here and actually put it uh, down here. So in this case, what you would want to do is just make sure you get all of these set up correctly. So this is our kicks. We know that. We need this to trigger our kick. We're just going to highlight all those and... Pull it down here, maybe. There we go. So we got that set up. And then, of course, head into your snare. So I don't like that hit right there. That's it right there. So I could always drag this. Hold down shift. There we go. Right there. So now we're completely re-drumming or re-instrumenting, right? Redoing that drum track, which can be very helpful if you have some just drum tracks that aren't fitting, aren't working, they were poorly recorded, or you just want a different, uh, you know, a different sound after the fact. Of course, we can, you know, this, this is Superior Drummer 3, so whatever you're, you're using, obviously, you're going to have plenty of presets and plenty of different drum types. So this is a great way to take maybe old loops or old sessions and uh, completely re-engineer them, remaster them right here in Pro Tools by using that audio to, uh, to MIDI function. And of course, head into your mixer or into Pro Tools, you know, and uh, set up your plugins and do whatever you want. Now, one more thing I will mention because we didn't uh, look at it. So let's just find some audio here. I'll just hold on Alt, make a copy of that. Hold on Alt, make a copy of that. So now we have essentially what's uh, three clips and it doesn't really matter how we do this. I'll just right click, let's say, and copy audio as MIDI, and it doesn't matter what we choose. So if Consolidate Clips is off and I hit OK, I'll go ahead and paste these in. You can see what happens right there, right? So separate, uh, separate tracks right there. If on the other hand, I'll just leave those for now. Let's grab these again, and we'll do the same thing. This time we'll consolidate those clips, hit OK. And now we'll go ahead and paste these in right here. You can see it's consolidated into one clip. So you have some options there with uh, the way you want to do things. And by the way, one more thing, which is not necessarily um, relevant to the copying um, 
audio to MIDI, but for those who don't know, if you had something like a bunch of separate drum tracks here, right, and you converted those into individual MIDI tracks, and once you head in there and you have, uh, right, like this is not set up right. I'd have to come in here, change this to my toms and what have you. But once you have all of that set up, you can actually uh, merge all of your MIDI tracks into one. So if I had this MIDI track here, I'm just gonna hit Control C to copy it. I'm gonna come up here to this track. And just so you can see this here, come up here to uh, edit and paste special. And what you wanna use is Alt M or just choose merge. And that will merge that into one track. So then you could have one overall track instead of having a bunch of different uh, MIDI tracks. But of course, like I said, don't do that until you fix up your key map for whatever drum program you're using. So we're just playing this one track. We're not playing the snare track here since we merged it into this track here. And we're getting the kicks and the, uh, and the snare triggering in this case, uh, superior drummer three. All right, so that is the new audio committee function here in Pro Tools 2020.11.